Hello everyone, I am Cosmic Dreamer. Let's talk about something today that exists in reality but is magical. Harry Potter? Ah, something similar. So, to sum up this matter in two words, it is called Tokyo Barrier. Barrier is a Buddhist term. It means something with magical power and protective properties like... Transparent. Yes, an invisible one. Golden bell jar. To a kind of force. So in Tokyo, there is a barrier. 1,000 years ago in Tokyo, which is the large area of Kanto, there was a famous family called Taira no Masakado. The emperor at that time was called Suzaku Tenno, and he lived in Kyoto. This video talks about the capital of Japan. Many viewers asked, doesn't Japan have a capital? Hey, this answer is also correct. But in fact, Japan does not have a capital. It just does not have a legal capital. Well, in theory, wherever the emperor lives, that's the capital. This emperor, Suzaku, had a relatively small power. Well, soon, the big ones, the nobles, began to hoard their own troops, armed themselves, and prepared to rebel. Taira no Masakado is a person who is brave and good at fighting. Soon the entire Kanto area was unified. After reunification, his self-confidence was slightly inflated, and he thought, why should I listen to the emperor? He's a little drifting. Yes, the emperor is so far away from me. He is in Kyoto, and I'm here in Tokyo, so he established himself as king, not as king, but as emperor. He called himself the new emperor. He also held a ceremony like a coronation ceremony and he ascended the throne. This enthronement does not matter. The emperor was angry. You brat, you are just a noble under me. How dare you call yourself the emperor? Also called the new emperor or something? No, I have to arrange for two generals to attack him. So we arranged for two generals to bring their troops and horses. Just prepare to suppress him. Moreover, the emperor issued a nationwide arrest warrant saying that if anyone can remove the head of Tyrano Masakado, I will make him a noble. At this time, the Kanto region, which had already been pacified, began to rebel again. This Tyrano Masakado was accidentally shot by a stray arrow during a battle and died. At this time, the two groups of troops sent by the emperor had already died before they arrived. The group that beat him to death cut off his head and sent it to Kyoto, just because the emperor said whoever took his head would be made a noble. Express delivery? Yes, it has almost the same meaning as express delivery. It was sent directly to Kyoto by express delivery. Well... The emperor didn't hesitate and just put his head on a pole and stood it outside the city gate, showing his head to the public. There is a difference between beheading and beheading. To show one's head to the public, one chops off the head and then puts a pole outside to serve as a warning to others. Anyone who imitates him will end up like him. It is said that this is the first time in the history of Japan that the criminal law of showing the head of an owl in public has appeared. It is considered the most serious criminal law. The people were frightened to death after seeing it. Yeah. Therefore, the common people feel strong resentment. There is a legend in Japan. Let's talk about Taira no Masakado's head. In order to find his body, because his head was cut off and sent to Kyoto, so the body is still in Kanto, this head, in order to find his body, flew directly from Kyoto to Kanto. Okay. This is a Japanese legend. As long as he is happy. However, because his magic power was a bit insufficient, he fell off before reaching Kanto. Where did it fall? Tezuka dropped in Tokyo or Tezuka. Yes, Tezuka means the grave of the head. And this head is the head of Taira no Masakado. Later, it was said that this place, Tezuka, 
had a lot of evil spirits, and many Japanese governments wanted to move it away, but accidents would happen every time they tried to move it away. But Tezuka is not far from the palace. So I wanted to move him away, but I couldn't move him. If you can't move it, you can move it to the palace. Ah, uh, right. Why is this person so stubborn? Next, we will talk about why the palace must be there. It is a valuable land with a good geomantic omen. Taira no Masakado is known as one of the three most evil spirits in Japan. Three wraiths? Well, there are two more that we will introduce later. Who is it? I really want to know. Places like Kanto were ruled by Tokugawa Ieyasu. Places like Tokyo were also called Edo. Quite prosperous. Yes. Tokugawa Ieyasu was a capable man and managed Edo very well. He admired Taira no Masakado very much. May I? Why not? Will the emperor not destroy him? In fact, Tokugawa Ieyasu also had a rebellious heart, so he worshipped this Taira no Masakado because it has been said since ancient times that Taira no Masakado's resentment is very powerful and he wants to use this resentment to form a barrier that can protect his Edo castle. He built seven shrines. These seven shrines are dedicated to his armor, called Yoroi Shrine. The place where his helmet is enshrined is called Kabuto Shrine. The Japanese word Kabuto does not mean our uh, Kabuto. It means helmet. The one with the horns. Yes, yes. There is also a body called Kandamayajin who enshrines his body, and there are seven in total. These seven shrines connected together form one Big Dipper. Why the Big Dipper? Because the god he worships in Tyra, no Masakado, is Myokan. And Myokan is the god of the Big Dipper. Tokugawa Ieyasu used the Big Dipper array to form a barrier in Edo Castle to protect Edo Castle from good weather. How many years in total? 300 years. In fact, it was not easy for a country to have good weather for 300 years in ancient times. Well, it wasn't until 300 years later that Japan also entered the Meiji era. Kyoto was becoming more and more decayed and poorer, and the emperor couldn't stay any longer. He saw that Tokugawa Ieyasu was doing a good job in Edo, so he came to Edo. He came to Edo and stayed there, but he never left. As we just said, wherever the emperor lives is the capital. From that day on, the capital of Japan changed from Kyoto to Tokyo. The emperor felt good living here, but he always had something on his mind. Because there is a barrier in Edo. This barrier was formed using the power of Taira no Masakado. And Taira no Masakado is an anti-emperor and anti-government person. So is it okay? For the emperor to live in an anti-government barrier. So the emperor, including the Meiji government, thought of a move. What move were they thinking of? They used another magic circle to seal his barrier. They have such big hearts. The Japanese government knows how to use magic power, right? It uses various magic powers and barriers. How could he seal this barrier with a magic circle? He built five more buildings most of these five buildings are cemeteries. Among them is the very famous Yasukuni Shrine, which forms a square magic circle. This magic circle is just on top of the Big Dipper, but this magic circle alone is not enough. After all, this Big Dipper array is powerful and has lasted for more than 300 years. It's impossible to suppress him just by building a cemetery or something like that for five people. The emperor didn't think of it that easily. So he did another thing, that is, he built the Yamanote Line. Anyone traveling to Tokyo must have taken the Yamanote Line. This Yamanote Line is built based on feng shui. It is a circle and the shape of a Tai Chi diagram. There is also a Chuo Main Line in the middle. This central line happens to be the wave in the middle of the Tai Chi diagram. 
This Tai Chi diagram also happens to be on top of the Big Dipper. The Yamanote line diagram directly cuts off the head and tail of the Big Dipper. Moreover, the two sharpshooters at the head and tail of the Big Dipper, one is the Sword God Shooter and the other is the Kaishin Shooter. Cut off the helmet and armor from the middle, which cuts off the lifeblood of the samurai, cut it off of armed forces. So this Yamanote line is also part of his magic power, part of the magic circle. When the Yamanote line was about to be completed, the Great Kanto earthquake occurred in Japan. The Japanese people say that Taira no Masakado used his resentment to prevent the formation of his magic circle and finally caused this natural earthquake. Moreover, this big earthquake also destroyed the southeast corner of his original square. This is called Tsukiji Honganji Temple. It is very famous. People who go to the Tsukiji market to eat seafood may pass by this Tsukiji Honganji Temple. Honganji Temple was damaged during the Great Kanto earthquake. After the damage, the emperor didn't feel anything. As a result, during World War II, all U.S. bombers flew from the direction of Honganji Temple and flattened the entire Tokyo. Well, after it was bombed, the emperor also surrendered. After that, the first thing the emperor did was to immediately build the Honganji Temple. He also believes in feng shui. Right. Of course, there are not only these few temples around the palace, but also many temples. These temples all have their origins. For example, around the palace, there are five temples which represent metal, wood, water, fire, and earth. These five temples then let the entire palace have all the five elements. As we just said, the Yamanote line is a Tai Chi diagram. There are black dots in the white areas of the Tai Chi diagram and white dots in the black areas. The black spots in this white area are called the yin of the yang. And the yin of the yang is a place that ordinary people cannot enter and is called a place that only gods can enter. And the yin of the yang on the Yamanote line is where the Imperial Palace is located, so the location of the Imperial Palace is not chosen randomly, it just happens to be in the Yin of Yang. Aren't there many tourists coming in and out every day? Tourists are welcome, but they are devils anyway, and these evil things cannot enter. So the white dot inside, the black is called Yin Yang, and Yin Yang is the place of lawlessness, which means that the devils and evil spirits live there. So from a feng shui perspective, the palace also belongs to this quiet and sacred place. Japan is a magical place, right? Even the government uses magic to govern the country. So when it comes to archmage fighting, everything written in Japanese comics is true. Comics? There are many comics describing this kind of thing like Naruto holding a knife or something like that. Okay, that's all the content of this video. Thank you for your attention. See you next time.